Navidad. Good morning. Good morning. Sure do have a pretty family. Well, thank you. Who's this? Ah, uh, yes, that's my cousin Nina. And this beauty? <laughs> my sister Melanie. She's on her honeymoon. She's taking a trip around the world. The whole thing? I think so. You don't have to tell me who these happy people are. Yeah. That's my favorite picture. I carry a, a copy of that one in my wallet. I miss that guy. Yeah, me too. Cat sure talked a heck of a lot about you, but I have to say he didn't nearly do you credit. Of all the lovely ladies here, without a doubt, you are the loveliest. Define gorgeous. It is the most gorgeous wedding outfit that I have seen in years. You're going to look fabulous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Adjective. Natalie Dillon. Life with a aforementioned doll. Stop it. I'm trying to talk you... to Myrtle. <laughs> Myrtle, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's all right. <laughs> I know true love when I hear it, even on the phone. Uh, uh, listen, darling, would you like me to bring the outfit over and have a fitting? Oh, that'd be marvelous. All right, darling, be right with you. Okay, bye. Oh, finally, finally, this wedding is beginning to come together. Myrtle says no one can outshine this bride. Hey, I am having my tailors so mirrors on my cummerbun as we speak. Don't you dare. Now, come on, did you decide on the cake? Definitely, chocolate, chocolate. It has to have white frosting, Trevor. Wah! Timmy will ditto me on that. White tastes like cardboard. What about peach? Peach? Uh-huh. And chocolate? Mm. Oh, forget about the cake. Who needs cake? Mm. Stop it. You have to leave. You have to leave. <laughs> Very cool. Forgive me if I'm a little bit late. Yes, but I won't. Look, Myrtle's coming over with my wedding outfit, and you cannot be here. I don't want to see you in a dress. I want to see you out of a dress. If you insist on persisting like this, I'm going to have to insist on vanilla frosting. Okay. Yeah. Clater said I was fine. No, of course I'm going to stay after what you went through. Well, that was nice of you. You sure you're okay? Yeah. Dr. Clater says I can have kids again, and then next time I'm going to take every single precaution. Good. Are you hungry? You want some breakfast? I can get you breakfast. First, I'd like a kiss from my wonderful husband. Okay. Lord. Are you hungry? Um... What time does Katie come in on duty? Uh, I think she's on right now. I think she's been on since this morning. Could you just send her in here? What for? Well, I want to talk to her. You're not still so mad at her for not believing that you weren't pregnant, are you? No, no. She called the hospital for me yesterday. I want to thank her. Trevor, you're spoiling me. And you're loving it. No, oh, come on, you have to go, please. Wait, Myrtle's coming for your wedding dress, is that it? Well, it's not a dress. It's 
It's an ensemble. Well, who cares? You're going to dazzle them anyway. Oh, no, I have to get ready for the fitting. What's the fit? You're perfect. I want to be absolutely dazzling. Hey, you can razzle my dazzle anytime. Oh. Go, go, go. Peach frosting. Now we're talking chocolate mocha chocolate frosting. Well, Natalie's in a festive mood this morning. Call it, uh, wedding anticipation. Ask not for whom the wedding bells toll. Mm-hmm. What's with the attitude, Janet? Why would I have an attitude? Here comes the ride, all dressed in... What is Myrtle bringing over? White? <laughs> you better not spoil this for my blondikins. Gosh, I'm sorry. It's just hard to be all smiles about the institution of marriage when your own is just flopped. You better get rid of that downer attitude and forget about men, huh? Smiles and good humor, that's what gets men. I know what gets men, Trevor. But, let's do it your way. I'll try to be more upbeat. Good. Well, tell me what happened with Barnica. Don't mention that. Hey, according to me, you two were getting along swimmingly, and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, you blow him out of the water. That is not true. He's a... Lecherous slime. Neil Bernerker? Lieutenant Neil Bernerker? He tried every smarmy move in the book. Neil? He's lucky I didn't press charges. Hey, I don't think of him as, as no lechomaniac. Yeah, well, think again. He's right here. You see, he wants yes. his mama. Yeah. I am such a And we are on our way to breakfast. Oh, yes. Thanks for letting are. me stay the night, Opal. Oh, think nothing of it, Craig. You want some huevos rancheros? Huevos rancheros? Oh, I love, but I can't. I mean, I've eaten already. <laughs> oh well, Lindley hadn't quite got the hang up yet, anyway. Well, come on, sick, give her you know. a chance. Oh, I'll right. tell you what I'm going to do. Before I push off of here, I'm going to compare recipes with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Craig. That'd be wonderful. You know, some of us are just born with a cooking thumb, and some aren't. What can I say? All right, we're going to leave you, too. I'm, I got the morning munchies. What do you say? I'll see you. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. No, no. <laughs> no cuevas rancheras for you today, senor. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> sure can't see a lot of tan, that little boy. Yeah, well, that's what a lot of people say, but, uh, you know, Tad isn't Junior's blood father. You know that. No, but... I mean, as close as they were, as much as he talked about him. I mean, a father's traits, mannerisms, they're going to rub off, blood relative or no. I like to think that, too. Dad sure loved you. Yes, he did. And Junior remembers him? Don't you remember him? Yeah, don't you, sunshine? What? Last time I saw Tad, must have been about a year and a half ago, I think. He was uh, on his way to Hawaii to do business. Oh, yeah, I remember that. He stopped in to say hello to a few of his buddies. He just could not stop talking about his beautiful new wife and baby <laughs> boy. That was right after we got married. He was still counting the days as a newlywed, I think. Yeah. Did Ted ever tell you that he proposed to me in a big chicken suit? A chicken suit? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, maybe he wanted to keep that a secret. <laughs> Oh, there's a chandelier up there. Yeah, we had this passionate love affair with chicken You don't say. <laughs> yeah, for a while I think we practically lived on them. Chicken Yeah. Well, now it all makes sense. What? Every time we would go out to eat in California, well, every time he ordered chicken fingers, he'd get this big grin on his face. You know the one. <laughs> yeah, it made him look like a silly little boy. Exactly. And I kept... Wondering, I mean, what's so funny about chicken fingers? And he said, Craig, they will always have a special place in my heart. That man sure loved you. He truly, truly did. I'm sorry. No. Hearing that from you is it's like getting a long lost letter from David. I'm so glad you came. So am I.
Everyone's in love with Henry. He bought a dog. One of the best movies of 1991. The most remarkable and extraordinary movie of the summer. I don't remember. Oh, how from the top special made just for you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to report that Lynn Mee is learning not to be quite so shy with the chili powder <laughs> in the eggs. Yeah, well, yeah. I, think, I think Junior probably needs some breakfast. Yeah, you hungry, Junior? You hungry? You hungry? Let's go get All right, you run along, you two. I'll stay and keep Craig company. <laughs> okay, See you later. I was just talking to Dixie about the last time I saw Tad. It's a year and a half ago, give or take. He was on the, his way to Hawaii on business. Oh, right. I remember that business trip, the detective stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He stopped by to say hi, and he just could not stop talking about you. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I want to hear about that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... No, heard... no, no. It's not your fault. It's just that, uh, well... That wasn't exactly a happy time between Mama and son, you know. I know. I bet he bad-mouthed me, but good, didn't he? Well, I don't bad. Oh, he just hated all of those stupid booby traps I said on his marriage. He didn't speak too highly of that, Yeah, no. well, thank goodness, you know, we had a chance to kind of patch things up before he had to fight it out with that nutcase Billy Klein Tuggle. I had a chance to, to call and talk to Tad after you'd squared things away. He was so happy. Really? Yeah. You know, he talked about having his whole family together again, his beautiful new wife, baby, and his mama. If only our Jenny could have been with us. That is exactly what Tad said. It is? Yeah. Oh. He could just be the sweetest guy. You know, he gave me away at my wedding. He was the best. Mm. Yeah. Look, are you sure you got to leave right away today? I mean, couldn't you stay around for another day or two? Oh, I sure wish. It's just not in the cards. You know, I've got that job interview in New York. Oh, well, yeah, I suppose tote that barge, lift that bail, huh? <laughs> well, actually, no. It's more like uh, boot up that hard drive and program a software. <laughs> that type Computers? Of thing computers. They exactly. are the pinnacle of the present and the wave of the future. <laughs> well, that's very well put, darling. Oh. And they are helping to keep this very nice roof over our heads. Yes, indeed. Well, love bug. Craig here has an important interview with a major computer firm in New York, New York. Oh, good luck, Craig. Thank you, sir. <gasps> I just had to brainstorm. Batten down the hatches, run for Oh, <laughs> shush. Now, now, why don't we save Craig all the time and trouble and just have Sloan drive him where he's going with one of the cars? You know, he could use the red one. No, really. I, I don't want to be any trouble. Oh, it's I'm... no trouble at all. I mean, Sloan really loves a good drive. I'll just check the flight schedule. Oh, darling, I, I have some questions about last month's expenses. Well, I told you to use the calculator. Opal, opal. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here, just let me get you the phone book. Okay. That's all right, you don't have there. to bother. Okay, now don't you go running up before you say goodbye. Would I do that? Well, you just darn well better not. That's all I got to say. I come on, come on, I'll help you decipher all my number crunching. <laughs> I'm calling to see when you have buses leaving for New York City. Okay. Eleven. She thinks she lost a baby. She's not even crying about it, though. She's ready to have another baby. What are you going to do? I don't know. You know, tired of going along with the fantasy. Mourning a baby that doesn't exist. Oh, I'm so sorry. She wanted to talk to you, though. To me? Well, well, I don't know if I could. I, I feel so guilty every time I look at him. Okay. No, it's okay. If you don't want to, that's all right. We'll just tell her that you're busy, okay? Okay. But if you happen to see her just somewhere, can you casually mention Dr. Tolan? What? She still won't go for treatment? She bites my head off every time I mention the T word. But, you know, she'll listen to you. You're a friend, you know? She trusts you. I don't see why. Well, because you're a good friend. I don't know, Joe. Come on, Katie, come on. She'll listen to you. Will you talk to her, please? Come on, honey. You're boarding. Yeah, Grandma's going to be so happy to see you. Oh, no. What? 
her legs are all wet. And I just bought special girl diapers so this wouldn't happen. To help stop leaks, diapers need to be more than pink or blue. Introducing Love's XC, extra customized where girls leak most with 70% wider leg bands. Extra customized for boys. <laughs> Yeah, Reed. I've kept quiet about this as long as I can. You got a beef? Yeah, I got a beef. Read this right here down at the bottom. Mm hmm And 20 arrests this month were made by our girls in blue. Now, what throwback to the Paleolithic age wrote that? That's a very good question. I don't know. My fellow officers are men and women, not boys and girls. Well, I'll certainly make everyone aware of that. Thank you, but what I really don't understand is why the women officers' arrests are listed separately anyway. We've always done it that way. Why? I'll get back to you on that. Thank you, sir. You better have a good reason. You're going to be a dead duck. Hey, come on. She had a point. Hey, Bernicum. Hey, Dylan. You got a problem with the report, too? No, no, no. It's this something else. Well, spit it out. Well, it's kind of touchy. Touchy? Okay. Yeah. It's about uh, Janet. What about her? Well, I don't know how to say this, but according to her, uh, your libido doesn't know the meaning of the word no. Say what? Well, she claims that you were kind of forward the other night. Look, Dylan. I don't know what the woman's problem is, but it's not my being too forward. She was into it from the get-go. What, what, what happened? Someone flipped a switch or something in mid-kiss. Uh, 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 the welcoming committee turned into a lynch mob. How dare I? She doesn't even know me, etc., etc. Boots me out of my... A kiss, that's all. Yeah, that's all. Trevor, this is me, Neil, okay? I don't push myself on women. Yeah, I figured. I just, I'm sorry. I, you know, I had to check. Yeah, we'll go try double-checking with Janet, huh? Something's not right there. Yeah, Roger, will do. But thanks. Well, <laughs> Natalie always has been slow. Yeah, she takes so much time with her hair and her makeup. Well, you know, she likes to look her best. She usually does, too. Well, I'm very glad that the happy day is finally almost here. Slow wedding season? No. No, as a matter of fact, um, I've been waiting for those two to uh, make up their mind, get the show on the road, and tie the knot, and it's been a long, long wait. How so? Well, you know, they had trouble. You know that with uh, Adam Chandler, don't you? Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> well, it'll be nice they don't have to use my back room as their rendezvous anymore. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, no, very, very proper, you know, very proper. But um, when Adam had a private detective following Natalie, uh, Trevor used to come popping into my back room in the boutique and uh, surprise Natalie. Well, you know, gave him a bit of uh, peace and privacy. How sweet. Ah. These two deserve happily ever after, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Now... No one will ever knock the romance out of these two, never. Well, gorgeous. <laughs> Myrtle, it is fabulous. Oh, listen, you can't credit the package, but what's inside it is so beautiful. Isn't that right, Jen? It's very handsome. Is it all right in the back, Myrtle? There you are. Chapel and work 
gonna get married. Going to the chapel of love. The attendance dresses are arriving any day, and you're going to be so happy, Janet. They are beautiful. You're going to look lovely. They are the prettiest dresses I think I've seen in Pine Valley any time. Myrtle, you're a fairy godmother. You get yourself home by midnight, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Janet, what do you think? You think Trevor's going to like it? I love it. I have to go. I have, I have to go. I, I have to go. I think she's going to turn into a pumpkin. Hi, hey, honey. How are you feeling? Fine. Good. Your release is in the works. Oh, great. I just want to go home. Ah, soon, very soon. This for me? Droxin? No. Oh, no. Good heavens, no. It's a medication for heart patients. Actually, they can be kind of dangerous. Well, those little pills can be dangerous? Trust me. A few of these given to somebody who doesn't need them could kill. Well, gosh, the thing is, I better stay away from those. Huh? Right on. Now, listen, you'll be out of here in no time, so just sit tight, okay? Okay, thanks. You're welcome. I'll see you later, all right? Hi. Oh, hi, you baby. <laughs> Hi. Gosh, you know, I'm finally freed and all the visitors just pile right on in. You just grab the attention while you can. <laughs> well, I heard that you were doing fine and I didn't want to disturb you. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? I mean, are we still friends and everything? I hope so. Yeah, well, so do I. It's a good thing. You really helped me out yesterday. Well, you fell. I just called the hospital. Oh, come on. Don't sell yourself short. I'm very lucky to have a friend like you. Would you take some advice from a friend? Shoot. Um, having a miscarriage can be very traumatic. It can be like a death in the family. And I know that a lot of women find it very helpful to talk to someone, a professional, because then it's just time for you to let loose and just talk about your feelings. So you think that I had to see a psychiatrist? I think it would be good. Forget it. Look, friend, I don't know who put you up to this, but I don't think it's very nice. Em, I'm just trying to help. Um, you can just leave me alone. I'm sorry. Yes, you are going to be sorry. Because you are not going to get my husband. Ted were friends, isn't it? This could be a sign, you know. Just a kind of a warning not to let our hopes sink down because Tad's still out there. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh I'm don't. just saying it could be. But boy, that guy. Yeah. Stirs up a lot of memories for you, doesn't it? Just hearing him talk about my tan like that is... Yeah. It's kind of like, uh, getting a long-lost letter from Ted. That's what I told Craig. <laughs> yeah. I did everything I could to make him stay a little longer. Didn't work? No, he's... No, no use. He's got some big job interview in New York, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, he mentioned that. He mentioned that. Now, that kid is going places. I'm telling you, I can recognize talent, and he has got it in a big way. <laughs> I hope he gets that job, I, you know? I mean, or at least something nearby. So he can come and visit every once in a while. Yeah, ditto. When's he leaving? Oh, he's got a flight, you know, later this morning. Oh, too bad. Well, I got a time for Junior's bath, you know. All right, son, you go take care of him, honey. Bus, New York City, 10 o'clock, 
She's always on the lookout for new recruits for her environmental causes and stuff. I didn't know you were interested in the environment. Me? I'm a big tree hugger. <laughs> oh, well. Thanks, anyway. Hey, no problem. See you later. Okay. You got work to do? Yeah. Bye. I figured out your in-law problem, Dylan. Well, clue me in, Inspector Cluzo. We got one big Galoofin Pine Valley detective engaged. And then we got one brunette sister of the bride with hots for the groom. Janet, in love with me, you're kidding me. But who said anything about love? Maybe she just wants to play a little beach blanket bingo. In any event, she's got the hots for you, my friend, with a capital H. Oh. You know, maybe, maybe a while ago she had a little crush on me, but that's all over. Oh, come on, Dylan. Wake up and smell the roses, would you please? You knew she was going to probably bump into me here, and yet you saw what that did to her. Yeah. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, huh? Yeah, right. So why would she risk a nasty scene if she didn't have something more important on her mind? Strictly circumstantial evidence. I mean, she was here volunteering. Volunteering, huh? Yeah, what is she going to do, polish the paddy wagon? Come on, Dylan. Even you, you're not that dumb. got an awful, awful headache. It's pounding. Oh, I'm so sorry. I was wondering maybe, you know, you give me some aspirin or, or something. Oh, aspirin isn't an awfully good idea after that fall, but uh, hang on a second. I'll, I'll get you something. Hold out your hand. There you go. That should do the trick. Thanks. It's nice having a nurse in the family. Well, it's not so nice having a patient. Now, you go back to your room, you take those, you lie down, and you'll feel better before you know it. Oh, uh... What? Didn't they just call you? Me? Yeah, not over the PA. I thought somebody at the uh, head desk called you. Oh, well, I better check. to get a bag that can take this. Isn't it worth this for a bag that can take this? Okay, you ready? Emmy? Emmy? Oh, baby, you scared me half to death. I th Never mind, you don't want to know what I think. Uh, guys, I'm fine. I wish everybody would stop asking. I'm not asking. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here, actually, just as soon as they sign my papers. Right. Oh, oh, oh. I found your keys on my dresser. Chuck picked them up and thought they were mine. Thanks. I've got everything packed. It's in the car. Well, thank you very much. Sweetheart. I just want you to know how happy I am that you're going to be going home where you belong. As much as I've loved having you with us, Chuck and I are no substitute for your husband. 
Uh -huh. He's oh. a wonderful husband. All for the hospital outbound express. You're not a king. Well, your papers have been signed, and as of right now, you are a free woman. Uh, Nick's on that noise. Her husband's here. Oh, man. <laughs> I can, Prince Charming. I can uh, take you home. Only be a couple hours off from work. Yeah, well, I, I guess we could arrange that. I don't think that'd be a problem. Um, well, no. Mom already packed all my stuff in her car. Yeah, it's mm. under control. Oh, yeah, well, in that case, we better not mess with the uh, mother-in-law, right? Right. Uh, right. right. No, no, I just didn't yeah, Hospital rules now. Oh, Joey, don't tell me you never broke any rules. I try not to. I have the perfect husband. Well, let's go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boom. What are we having for dinner tomorrow night? No, I haven't the foggiest. Lynn May is whipping up one of her traditional Malaysian dishes. We're venturing into uncharted territory. Can I invite Katie Kanaka to dinner tomorrow night? Well, of course you can. Katie is always welcome. Just tell Lynn May to pl put another place at the table. What's the occasion? Oh, I think nothing special. I just uh, thought it'd be nice if Katie got to know everybody a little bit better. Yeah, and vice versa. Yeah, apparently, Katie and Will are getting along splendidly lately. Isn't that nice? I'll go give her a call. I tell you, your matchmaking skills continue to amaze me. What is this incredible power you have over romance? Well, I did bring those two together, but in the case of Will and Katie, I think my romance meter was on the fritz. I don't see anything but happy plans, starry eyes. Yeah, well, I see a lot of plans. I don't see too many starry eyes. You don't think Will likes Katie? Oh, yeah, I know he likes her, but uh, it's not the real McCoy. I'm telling you... Will's pursuit of Katie went on the uptick right around promotion time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. My little lecture about business promotions with the stable married man. Yep, that's mm -hmm. right. I think Will's courting is more a gimmick to get a promotion than it is to get Will, um, Katie's heart. Oh, now, Opal, come You've had your problems with him. I know that. Well, the man tried to ruin my life after he, all, Homer. He was trying to protect me. Protect now, why can't you. we just leave all this in the past? Let it bury. Well, I'll try. Please, please. I'll try. I will. I'll see you a little later. Oh, excuse me. I'm just going to call a taxi, and then I'll oh, be out of here. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. Holding me for ransom? Or no, I'm not, but I am going to drive you to the airport. No, Opal, I don't want you to go to any trouble. Huh? Oh, it's no trouble. I love driving to the airport, uh, the airplane zooming over my head. I really can't get there by myself. I, I don't bother, honestly. Really? Yeah. So you're not going to tell me that you are really taking the bus? Um... Hmm? What's it going to be, Mr. Lawson? Is it going to be uh, the bus, the plane, the train, or the catamaran? summer, don't settle for less than 100% pure adrenaline. Point Break is a rip-roaring, free-falling ride. Patrick, leave that on the desk, huh? Well, what's the big secret? So you're taking the bus. You know, I really don't care if you haul out of here as the last passenger on the Atchison, Topeka, and the Santa Fe. Opal, the fact is, I don't have a job interview. I am going to New York on the bus to find a job any job. That could be tough uh, these days. Yeah, tell me about it. But basically, I'm broke. I need a job ASAP. So maybe I'll find a glorified gopher position, you know? Better than an unglorified one and probably the best I can get. You know, you could have told us. Hi, I'm Craig Lawson. I'm a bum. Oh, you're not so. a bum, no, honestly. No, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I suppose uh, it cost you mucho dolares to come all the way out here from California. It was something I had to do. I, I was hoping to find Tad. Yeah, well, I can't tell you how much I was hoping that, too. Yeah, I know. Hey, I do not regret this trip for one instant. I had the chance to meet Tad's lovely wife, 
and baby and mom. Mm -hmm. What a relief this is. I tell you, I have been involved with some of the most self-absorbed people out west. But you three, well, you're just about the nicest folks I think I've ever met. This trip has meant a lot to me. Well, it has meant a lot to us, too, believe you me. Thanks. Now, I think you just better start unpacking because you are staying. No, I Oh, am not. yes, you are. Oh, yes, please. you are. Now, some goddess of luck has sent you to us. I mean, you saving Dixie the way you did, that was no, uh, you know, coinky dink by any means. So the least we can do to repay you is to have you stay. I won't take advantage of your hospitality. Well, we won't let you house that. You're just going to stay till you get a job. Now, Palmer and me will help you. But... Come on, now, what do you want to be? Think of something. Well, when I was young, I always wanted to write those fortunes they put in cookies, but... <laughs> well, I don't know. That's a start, I guess. Anyway, now, come on, we're going to get you resettled. Just follow me, all right? Come okay. On. I can never thank you. Oh, stop thanking. This is fate. Come on. <laughs> Trevor, you're home early. Yeah. You got a minute? Sure. You want something to eat? No. Uh, probably don't think I'd be an ego the size of a horse. You, ego? <laughs> Just listen, let me ask this question. Are you still in, having ideas about the two of us? You know. Trevor. Well, I mean, like at the station today, that all that offering to volunteer and stuff, was, was that on the level or was that a cockamamie story? No, of course it wasn't. I, it was just... I can't... <sighs> Nobody understands. I'm trying to. Yes, I care about you. We're, we're going to be family. You're going to be my brother-in-law. Like it or not, we're going to be related. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, still pals this? Mm-hmm. You want me to take these, honey? No, no. I'll, I'll take care of that later. All right. Mom, you know, <laughs> what are they doing at the Glamorama without you? Oh, I left Ethel in charge. You better go back soon. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to stay, baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey. If you need anything, though. Oh, you know, I'll um I'll send up a flare, I'll scream, I'll yell. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot. It's helping. Anytime. You later. Strengthens the contractions of the heart muscle and decreases the rate of the heartbeat. Oral dosage for adults, 0.5 milligram tablet. Adverse reactions, nausea, visual disturbances, headache, dizziness. Dosage must be calculated with extreme care. The lethal dose may be only three times the effective dose. Three times the normal dose could be lethal. Katie Kennecott. I think she's working on the fifth floor today. Yes, Kennecott. All my children will continue in a moment. I convinced him he's staying with us. I thought he was going to New York. No, canceled. Um, I told him that we'd help him find a job. You know anybody in the fortune cookie business? I thought he had something lined up with a computer company. Oh, that was just Craig's silly pride talking. Now, well, all he needs, Palmer, is just a little help getting started. Well, of course, we'll help him. I'll make a few phone oh, calls. Oh, good. Thank you. But why does he have to stay in our house? Well, why not? Where else is he going to go? 
Send him over to Myrtle Fargus, for heaven's sakes. But, Palmer, we got plenty of room here. I mean, he can have his own wing, for crying out loud. What's the problem? Well, the problem is we don't know the man. I, you have to take in every charity uh, case that comes in hush, off the street. Hush, hush your mouth. Craig is not a charity case. He didn't even want to stay here. I had to practically throw myself in front of the door. How do you know he's telling you the truth? Palmer, the man saved your niece's life. Now, doesn't that count for anything? Besides, he's Ted's friend. That's all that needs to be said. Joey. Hi, how'd it go? Oh, not so great. Yeah? She doesn't want to see Dr. Tolan? Nope. No, she doesn't really want to see me either. What happened? Well, I don't know. She was acting so blasé about everything, and then the minute I mentioned counseling, she just, she got really ticked off. Well, thanks for trying. Oh, I'm scared I just made things worse. No, uh, you couldn't. I don't know what I'm going to do now. She probably wants to have another baby. She's so confused. I know. I don't know, I guess I'm just going to have to stick by her and help her through this somehow. You're a terrific guy. And why I feel so bad? Well, you shouldn't. Because you should feel proud. You're really, you're really sticking by her. Well, having you around helps a lot. Katie, get a cop. Please pick up the nearest phone. Katie, get a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you later. Okay, hey, good luck. Thanks. This is Katie Kennecott. Hi. M? Hey, I'm, I'm really sorry about this morning. No, 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 really. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for snapping at you. I'm, you know, I, uh, I'm under a lot of stress. Sure. And I understand you were just doing exactly what you thought you should, and you were just being a, a really good friend. I, I was trying to. Well, thank you. I, I could really use a good friend right about now. Well, sure. Do you want to talk? Oh, yeah. That would, that would be great. Um... Why don't you come over and, and I'll make some, some dinner? Okay. Uh, that sounds good. Good. Well, I'll fix dinner and then you can come on over when you're done. All right. Um, I'll see you later then. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye, Katie. There's Ricardo in Palm Springs. He taught me to meditate, to find my innermost feelings. There's Lewis in Santa Fe. He taught me to channel my anger into creativity. Princess away to leave your dishes sparkling, virtually spotless. New Cascade Liquid Gel. This is Walter Cryan. Rats, they are dirty, nasty creatures, and they may be scurrying into your neighborhood. Rats, tonight at 6 on Channel 12.